I actually was driving down Fremont Avenue and witnessed an unsafe demolition that was endangering several children. That was in 2016. Today, Nika Namdi leads the social, environmental and economic justice initiative aimed at doing something about boarded up row homes. We've done everything from launch our own youth focused community based imagination, innovation and incubation space to launch a mobile application that will ha help communities track report and analyze data on blighted properties. Informed by data and driven by community members, her team is educating Baltimoreans so they don't lose their family homes because of things like tangled up titles or tax issues. Really it's a matter of generational justice because the fact is that many of these homes are family homes. They're homes that people paid too much money for in the first place because of contract lending as a result of redlining. And strategic demolition is last resort. Rather than creating another form of blight when walls come down, she sees a future for the bones of these row homes. Blight damages people's ability to live, to, to enjoy the space that they're in, whether it's their home, whether it's lack of recreation space, whether it's schools, many of our school buildings are blighted. So my hope is that Baltimore moves beyond blight. Last year alone, the group supported roughly 60 homeowners in need. This year, they're on track to help 140. In West Baltimore, I'm Tommy Clark, WBIL-TV 11 News.